As the 19th century wore on, the quality of book design and production became a casualty of the Industrial Revolution, with a few notable exceptions, such as the books by the English publisher, William Pickering. Pickering played an important role in the separation of graphic design from printing production. A cordial working relationship between publisher and designer and printer was established by Pickering and Charles Whittingham of the Chiswick Press. His liturgical books, including the 1844 Book of Common Prayer, are some of the finest examples of the revival of Gothic forms that permeated the 19th century. In spite of the efforts of Pickering and others, the decline in book design was not checked until late in the century, when a book design renaissance began. William Morris, the leader of the English Arts and Crafts movement. Throughout his career, he produced a steady flow of poetry, fiction, and philosophical writings. His literary contributions helped to establish the modern fantasy genre while he played a significant role in propagating the early socialist movement in Britain. In 1861, Morris founded a decorative arts firm with other designers. It became highly fashionable and much in demand. The firm profoundly influenced interior decoration throughout the Victorian period. It became highly fashionable and much in demand. The firm profoundly influenced interior decoration throughout the Victorian period. In 1875, Morris took total control of the company. The long-range effect of William Morris was a significant upgrading of book design and typography throughout the world. Arthur McMurdo was a progressive English architect and designer who influenced the arts and crafts movement, notably through the Century Guild of Artists in 1882. It was one of the more successful craft guilds of its time. It offered complete furnishing of homes and buildings, and its artists were encouraged to participate in production as well as design. The medieval passions of the arts and crafts movement were reflected in the graphic designs of image and home. The most important of the German men of letters was Rudolf Koch, a powerful figure who was deeply mystical and medieval in his viewpoints. He taught at an arts and crafts school and led a community of writers, printers, stonemasons and metal and tapestry workers in a creative community. Rudolf prized craftsmanship in his type design and printing methods, a principle deeply rooted in the arts and crafts movement. Book designer Bruce Rogers and type designer Frederick Gowdy each inspired a lifetime of creative work, had long careers filled with a love of books and diligent work. They carried their exceptional sense of book design and production well into the 20th century. A student of Gaudi's named William Addison Wickens proved to be a highly literate book designer who established a house style for the Alfred Knopf Publishing Company and designed hundreds of volumes for his firm. During the early 1920s, Wiggins first used the term graphic designer to describe his professional activities. Albert Bruce Rogers became the most important American book designer of the early 20th century. He designed books with a strong arts and crafts influence and set the standard for well-designed books. In the United States, the American Type Founders Company played an important role in reviving past designs. William Morris and the Arts and Crafts Movement and the private presses inspired a vigorous rejuvenation of typography. The passions for Victorian typefaces started to decline in the 1890s. 
The legacy of the arts and crafts movement extends beyond visual appearances. Its attitudes about materials, functions, and social value became an important inspiration for 20th century designers, and now the excellence in book design and typography continues to this day. Thank you for watching and join me next time.